In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set a beginning and end of a work area. So, if you just want to preview one little part as you're fine-tuning your animation, you can set a beginning and end work area and just loop that part over and over again. So this bar on top of the timeline is the work area for the composition. By default, when you create a new composition in After Effects, the work area is going to take up the entire duration of the composition from the beginning of the timeline to the end of the timeline. You can see the beginning of the work area by these blue handles. If you want to customize it, you just click on the handle. You can move it in. You can do the same at the end, just click on the little blue handle and you can move it in. And now you can create a custom work area. You can also click here and just move it around like this. You might want to create a work area if you want to export just a section of your animation, or as we're doing in this tutorial, if you just want to preview the animation from this start end to this end. It will just loop this over and over again. If it's not looping, you'll want to go to the preview panel, which you'll find over here by preview panel. You look for this option right here. That is indicating that it's looping. If you don't see the preview panel, you can go up to the window menu and select preview. If you ever just want to reset the work area to get it back to the full length of the composition, all you have to do is just double click on it anywhere, and that will reset it so it goes back to the beginning and the end of the timeline. In the easy way, or the keyboard shortcut for setting the beginning and end of a work area, just drag the playhead to wherever you want the work area to begin. And tap on the letter B, B for begin, and that will bring the work area to wherever the playhead of the current time indicator is located. To set the end of a work area, just drag the playhead to wherever you want the work area to end. And tap on the letter N, and for end, and that will bring the other end to wherever the current time indicator is located. So now you have the beginning and the end. If you press the space bar, it will just loop over that one section. Or if you just want to export the work area, you can go to the export and just export this one section and to reset the work area. All you have to do is just double click on it and that will go back to the beginning. And now for a super ninja bonus tip for work area. If you want to create a work area for the exact duration of a layer, so you can see this layer is just taking up a section of the timeline, but if I want the work area to be the exact duration from the beginning and end of this clip, just select the layer and use the keyboard shortcut option Control b and that will set the work area for the exact duration of that layer. If nothing is selected over here and you use that same keyboard, option Control b that will also reset the timeline, but the easier way is to simply double-click on it.